So if you haven't heard, there's a bit of a meme going around in the Star Wars community about bricks and screws, and it all comes from a live stream involving YouTuber's Star Wars theory in which he said, It's just whatever. It's honestly a kind of a forgettable show. Um, look, acting was great. Cinematography was great. The, the writing was good. But it was a lot of little things. I mean, when we saw the camera in the previous episode, there were like screws in the wall. When we see certain architecture, it's just bricks. You know, it's not smooth stone or sandstone or whatever it might be that was in the prequels or the originals, which kind of gives you the feel of Star Wars. The whole thing about Star Wars is to feel like it's from a galaxy far, far away. Um, it didn't do that with this one. Now, I should make it clear that I don't know Mr. Theory here, nor have I ever met him, but I will say this is a bit of an exaggeration on people's part for ripping on him too much, and I understand where he's coming from. Personally, I loved Andor, and it was a breath of fresh air from the fan service esque shows we've gotten, like Mando, Boba, and Kenobi, but this is something I've noticed among Star Wars fans who think that Andor didn't have that Star Wars feel, and that it didn't have some of the major themes, and it was a bit too slow, and so forth, which are fair criticisms, sure, but this is also a type of television style that hasn't been associated with Star Wars before, so this type of backlash is inevitable. You have shows like The Wire or Sopranos, two critically acclaimed series, that have their slow moments of buildup, which leads to incredible payoff. And I think it's necessary for us to understand the characters, who they are, and their motivation. Andor did this brilliantly with many arcs throughout the season. Granted, it didn't help that we had to wake week after week to see the payoff, but when it came, I thought it did deliver in spades. It's a shame that some fans didn't like it as much as I did, but I would ask everyone to keep an open mind on where Star Wars can go and the way it's produced, because this was vastly different than what we've seen before, and if the franchise is to survive, then it does need that breath of fresh air. But let me know what you guys think, and be sure to check out the video appearing on the end screen now.